Hey everyone, it's Rob the Backyard Gardener and it's time to get you updated on my apple seeds that I have grown into trees that we started on January 1st, 2016. So before I show you the apple trees, I wanted to give you a little bit of a background story on them. For those that haven't followed the series, I do have the Total Play series down below if you wanna check it out. But we started from some store-bought Gala apples, pulled the seeds out, and germinated them on January 1st, 2016. So it's been five years and getting close to four months. So what is that, 63, 64 months since we started these guys. Now I have two remaining trees of the three that I had started on that date. And then in mid-May of 2016, we started three more, and I have two of those left. So for this update, I'm gonna show both the ones that are around 58 months old, as well as the ones that are almost 64 months old. You'll recall that in an earlier episode, around the 27 month mark, we actually had one of the apple trees start flowering. We deemed at the end of that year that it was probably gonna be crab apples, and we did a taste test. They tasted sweeter than crab apples, but they were small. Some of you mentioned that possibly it was small because it was the first year that the tree had fruited, and I thought there was some merit to that. Last year, we got a slightly bigger yield and some larger fruits, but still crab apple size, but they were even more sweeter than the previous year. So I'm kind of excited about this first tree I show you because if it does the same thing it's done the last couple years, then fruits will be even bigger. We'll have to see how that goes. Either way, it produced green apples, whether they're just sweeter crab apples or possibly smaller fruits until the tree matures, we won't know yet, but it does have a lot of fruit sets on it. I also wanna mention that you'll notice that some of the flowering stems seem to get that fire blight or whatever from the pollinators, and every year that it flowers, it loses half of the fruit sets to whatever goes on. We'll show that to you here in a second. I'll also bring you around to the other side of the yard where my largest apple tree that I started from seed is growing like a monster. This tree actually did have flowers last year, but set no fruit, and this year it has set some fruit. So we'll take a peek at that, and then finally we'll end the video on looking at the younger trees and show you where they're at. Let's go take a look at these apple trees that I started from seed. So here's the first tree that we planted in the ground several years ago, and you'll recall that this is the one that we had the twin towers on where I chopped this part away last year, hoping that we could just retain one of the biggest stems. Now, I'm hoping that you guys can help me out with this fire blight, but this thing has set a lot of fruit this year, and like it does every year. Here's a good look at some of the fruit that it set, and we've got clusters all over the place. And the reason why we think this might just be a crab apple tree is because of the amount of clusters everywhere. There's so many of them, it's similar to what a crab apple tree would do. It's also getting very tall and it's starting to actually thicken and widen. But I wanted to show you these flowers. As you can see, once the pollinators pollinate them, some of them actually die off. They either die off in the very beginning like you see here, or they'll even set some fruit and then the fruit will have problems and start to die off like that one. Anyway, I have no idea what's going on. I think it could be fire blight, but it might be something else. To any extent, we do have several, several flower clusters on here that look good. Fruits have been set. And again, last year these got really big. And when I say really big, I mean they were about the size of a quarter, maybe a little bit smaller, but definitely as big as like a majestic crab apple tree's fruit would be. But again, also sweeter. Anyway, I'm super excited about this tree. If it continues to put on fruit and the fire blight or whatever it is doesn't kill off just the flowers because it actually spread off to several branches last year and I had to chop those away. Hopefully, you guys can help me out and figure that out and hopefully the fruit continues to get larger and this tree produces some edible fruit this year. We'll have to see. Anyway, as you can see, we have some concerns with that tree, but it continues to put on a lot of fruit, crab apples, whatever you want to call them. So we'll have to see how those progress throughout this year. Now let's go to the other side of the yard and I'll show you the other younger two fruit trees started in May of 2016 that are going on almost five years now. So here's the first of the two trees that are almost five years old and they're doing fine. I mean, obviously there's been no flowers on this one or the next one I show you, but they've actually continued to grow and put all their leaf buds out, no problem. 
Now, there are some concerns on these trees, and I'll show you this right here. There's a lot of scarcity, if you will. We have several branches that don't even have leaves, and we have several parts of branches that are absent of any leaves. I know apple trees can be a little finicky, and I don't know if it's my soil or what, but definitely some sparsity, if you will, to this tree right here. At the end of the day though, it still looks fantastic. I do need to chop and probably sculpt this tree a little bit more because I haven't done any sculpting whatsoever. If I take you over to this other tree, same thing. We've got a pretty good trunk. There is some sparsity to it. I do need to thin it out a little bit, give it more of a canopy that is acceptable. And I've kind of just let these young fruit trees grow only because we haven't had any fruits or flowers or anything yet, but it, they could use a nice trimming. And I'll probably do that here in the next week or so. I'll get you guys caught up on the next update on these two trees after I've trimmed them. So now we're gonna move over to this other tree. This is one I got from a nursery and it's probably in that seven year mark at this point. And I have gotten only one fruit on this tree last year, and it was a small one. I'll tell you, I think the soil down here stays a little moist, and maybe it's nitrogen rich, but at the end of the day, it just doesn't produce very many flowers, and when it does have flowers, they fall off. Now let's take a look at the big boy on the other side of the yard. So on this side of the yard is the very first apple tree that I planted, and uh, yeah, this guy's a monster. Now I failed to get any shots of his flowers when they were on. We had a windstorm and they dropped them all pretty quickly, but we did set some fruit. We did set some fruit. Let me get up here in the tree. So we've got some fruit sets right here. Let's see if I can get a good shot of them. I mean, they're decent size already, but they're looking like crab apples. And I mean, I could be wrong. We've got some up here as well. We've got some on this branch. And they're spread kind of sporadically. You can even see way up here. We've got some more. And judging by the size of them, they look like they're crab apples because the branches haven't gotten any thicker or at least the fruit bearing stems haven't gotten any bigger. So I'm gonna make an educated guess that it's probably another crab apple tree. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. We'll have to see what happens. Last year, this tree did have some flowers, but it never really set fruit. And I was looking at it and I will need to take away all of these little guys down here. They come right off. I'll have to grab my snips to get the rest of those off. But yeah, a little over five years old and um, definitely have some possibility of some fruit from this guy this year. We'll have to see. I'll keep you guys updated on this tree as the season progresses to see if those fruit clusters actually get anything larger than the crab apples that we got from the other tree last year. Anyway, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on these apple trees grown from seed. They're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We've got two of the four trees that have actually set flowers and fruit. It's now a waiting game to see what kind of fruit they are. And we think the other one's a crab apple tree but we'll know for sure probably this year, depending on what happens. This one, hopefully we'll know sometime this year as well. Well, there you have it, everyone. That's gonna wrap it up for this apple tree update. I know many of you are waiting on the citrus, the kiwi, and the avocado tree updates. Those are coming. It looks like my citrus finally got reacclimated after being brought back outside. And I haven't wanted to do any updates because they did drop some leaves. They got a little bit of sunburn, but it looks like they're starting to put on new shoots. So we'll get those updated really soon. And the kiwis need to get updated because there's a lot of new growth on those. Hopefully you enjoyed this update. Sorry I had to do some voiceovers, but something was going on with my mic and it just didn't record my voice. So I had to actually do some voiceovers. Anyway, have a great rest of your weekend. And as always, everyone, happy gardening and thanks for watching.